Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, here we are once again, Bible for Kids app, right there, Cartoon Jesus, um, and let's go on with the story. You may want some volume, we'll get some volume. Moses and Aaron told Pharaoh, the God of the Israelites says you must let his people go free. Otherwise, bad things will happen to you. But Pharaoh would not listen. So God turned the water in Egypt into blood. No one could drink it. Then he filled the Egyptian houses with frogs. Frogs were everywhere. Still Pharaoh would not listen. So God filled the skies of Egypt with gnats. They covered the people like dust. Then he struck the land of Egypt with flies. Still, Pharaoh would not listen. <laughs> God's people go after all the water in Egypt was turned to blood. True or false? So God killed the animals of Egypt. Horses, donkeys, camels, sheep, cows, and goats all died. Then he covered the Egyptian people with sores. Still Pharaoh would not listen. God sent hail to crush the crops of Egypt. Their barley and flax were destroyed. Then he sent locusts to eat what fruit remained. Still Pharaoh would not listen. So God sent darkness over the land. But again, Pharaoh would not listen. God said, I will kill every firstborn son in Egypt and all the firstborn of the animals. What happened to the Egyptians the first time Pharaoh would not let the Israelites go? <gasps> My people must kill a lamb, eat it, and put its blood on their doorposts. I will see the blood and pass over their houses. Those children will not die. You will call this Passover and always remember it. The Israelites obeyed God. 
but the Egyptian firstborn sons died, even Pharaoh's son. Finally, Pharaoh listened. He let the Israelites go. things happened to Egypt because Pharaoh would not let God's people go. True or false? Alright, let's see if we can match some of these storyboards. This is the fun part. Let's see. Nope, that was a locust. Alright. Did I just see that? No. There it is. Oh, found that one. Hey, my memory's not as bad as it used to be. I think it is. Let's rephrase that. There you go. Alright, I got four more. Let's see if I can find it. Nope. There you go. The Egyptian and the sores. Ribbit, ribbit. All right, guys. Hey, hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember the Bible for Kids app. It's free, so uh, enjoy yourselves. Hope you enjoy watching a little bit. Y'all take care, ladies and gentlemen.